Namaste from Deepesh. Hello to the wonderful Dynamics 365 and Power Platform community. We are entering volume 4 of my series, Power Integration. Thanks to all of you to learn alongside me. Today we are going to talk about how we can automatically move a Dynamics 365 CE note attachment to a SharePoint document folder and then link it back to the note using Power Automate. And this is a wonderful scenario. Traditionally, we know that the particular attachments stored in Dynamics 365 CE cost as, as a customer or as a partner a lot more. But if we store the same attachment to SharePoint and can still benefit of utilizing it from the timeline note uh, along with the attachment on the record, that will be great, isn't it? So let's see how Power Automate comes to the rescue and we'll learn alongside. Before we get going with the demonstration and thereafter how to get it configured, I'm also going to share to you different channels that you can connect me through. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Power of D365. I have a podcast, Power Advice. You can read my blog at dynamicsofdynamicsyarm.com, LinkedIn, Twitter, feel free to connect. In case you have need on Dynamics 365 or Power Platform, more than happy, Team Dynamicity is there to support you on your needs. Let's get going now. All right, behind me, you can see that there is a note related opportunity I have created and we're going to put in a note over there. Before I do that, I'm going to show you that there's nothing under the documents over here. The underneath hooked SharePoint document, you see nothing. Then what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to append a note into this. All right, if you look at my screen now, I've quickly gone in and looked at and put up a note over here, which I'm going to append. So I'm just going to add this note to the timeline on this particular opportunity record and let it be there for some seconds, right? Then what we are going to do is we are going to look at the magic that has happened using Power Automate. Let's now go and refresh this particular timeline. So I'm going to click here and refresh the timeline. You can see SharePoint updated capture1.png. So there's a new note appearing over here where the link has been updated and it says SharePoint updated. Now I'm going to go into documents and see that this particular note has moved here really, right? And that's not all. If you click it in, it is clickable. So I can just click it in and that is like a hyperlink as well, right? So it is just not just moving the file around the note attachment link is also appearing over here. So let's see how this one was configured. All right. So behind me, you see the particular flow that has done this magic for us, right? So what we are doing, I am starting over and I'm putting in whenever a note is getting created organization wide, I'm triggering this. Now, if you are doing it for multiple kinds of entities, you will need to do it a bit differently. You need to check type also in the step number three, I'm just directly going and getting opportunity. I'm not going into the condition right now. We'll wait for that. First, let's see what we are trying to do here. So I'm trying to get the opportunity fields. And if you want to understand why I'm trying to get the opportunity and account related fields, we are following the account hierarchy in the configuration. And this is similar to what I did in volume three in terms of SharePoint document folder integration, right? Or SharePoint integration along with Dynamics 365. So that's why it is very important to get the opportunity details to which this note is attached. That's what I'm doing in this step. And based on the opportunity, then I'm trying to get the account detail. That's what I'm doing in this step. Then I'm initializing a variable. What is this variable for? This is a variable for the folder location. And I'll just zoom in on it a bit. But this is similar to what was done in volume three. So you can have it uh, a look at that in volume three of my particular series power integration. But I'll zoom and explain a bit here as well. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to replicate the hierarchy of the folder structure that will get formed under our document library, the link that we give for SharePoint document integration along with Dynamics 365 slash account slash here I have picked the account name followed by the account GUID followed by opportunity the underneath entity under the account because I'm following the account based entity structure for the folders, then topic and then underscore I'm taking uppercase of the particular GUID of the opportunity. That's how the folder structure gets formed out of box. What we are doing then is we are triggering create file and we are giving the site address that that's where you require the folder path as well. We are giving file name from the node directly and this, this step is again important because you need to convert your, so I'm just going to expand this a bit and it's, it will be good to see. So let me just expand this a bit and show you. Okay, here. So you, you need to convert your base 64 to binary. That is the expression you need to use to get your document body and move it into SharePoint file, right? So that is an important step. That's why I highlighted it over here in this fashion. Again, again, if we move back, let me just move back in and uh, then look at add a new row. So what I'm doing here, I'm entering a new note, right? And that's basically adding a new note. Then what's happening to the old one? What I'm doing or the old one is I'm doing a list rows. I'm finding the, in the advanced option, if you will see the annotation ID will be equal to the note, right? 
that's what I'm trying to find the node for. And then I'm looping around that will all ever return only one node because that's the old node I'm trying to delete here. So when I look at delete a row, which you can see here real quick, what you'll find is what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to delete that node with this node ID. Why I had to use this workaround? If you try to delete the same record directly, it's not going to work. That was giving an error. Now you also must have wondered there was a condition in up, up above which was uh, which was there on this particular flow and what was this condition about, right? So here I have given a condition and let me just uh, scroll out on the screen a bit so that it is clearer clearer for all of us to understand. What I'm saying is whenever I will create a new node, this will trigger this particular flow for another run, a new flow run will happen. So what I'm doing is a description contains SharePoint, then I'm terminating successfully, right? Means every time a new node is created as a result of this flow run, another new node is getting created, I want to terminate that. So that's what I'm doing here in this particular side. I hope this video is clear to you to understand how the folder location was uh, moved over and the node attachment was moved over and then how we appended the particular file path. That is also one missing mystery, right? So let's go back and see that one in action as well. So when you create add a new row, what I'm doing is taking the path of the last step from the file, appending it to the hyperlink kind of over here and taking file name as the particular uh, href, right? So that's how the folder path is getting appended. Let's now uh, try to understand the rationale behind using this again. So this will save a lot on your storage, but you need to also measure how many flow runs you're utilizing. Power 365 as usual guys, in case you have any of the Dynamics 364 power platform needs, feel free to get in touch. Stay safe, keep learning.